Imported fire ants are pests that can cause millions of dollars in economic damages annually. These ants are a pest that can be managed easily using bait applications applied in a timely manner. However, there are situations where fire ant management can be difficult due to terrain, land use, and other factors. There are currently two areas in Alabama where bait application via traditional equipment is difficult, if not impossible. This study's objectives were to provide proof that fire ant bait can be accurately applied using a rotary spreader attached to an unmanned aircraft system, or UAS in areas not easily reached by conventional bait application equipment. A commercially available granule spreader was modified for mounting on a UAS. This UAS-enabled method allowed application in areas difficult to access or totally inaccessible to traditional equipment. Additionally, this technology could enhance effectiveness and mobility of bait treatments and could be transferred to other PPQ pests of interest that are managed with baits. This grant project was broken into four major steps. Performing a static calibration of the UAS spreader. Performing a live calibration of the UAS spreader. Applying bait to the first site. And applying bait to the second site. The first test area is a new roadway under construction by the Alabama Department of Transportation. The road will pass through a sensitive habitat occupied by the gopher tortoise a federally protected endangered species. As part of an agreement with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the state must provide fire ant management on the right-of-way along the section in the gopher tortoise habitat area. Many of these right-of-ways are steep hillsides or rocky areas where traditional application equipment, like ATV-mounted herd bait spreaders, cannot navigate. The second area in Alabama in need of UAS-assisted fire ant control is in commercial plant nurseries. Nurseries must be able to certify their plants are fire ant free to ship them out of the fire ant quarantine zone. Current bait spreaders only have a 20-foot application swath. When navigating access paths, these spreaders cannot spread bait completely into the nursery's wide rows of plants. Study results demonstrate that fire ant bait can be applied using a UAS-mounted bait spreader at relatively consistent rates similar to those of traditional ground equipment.